Our top story tonight, the arraignment of former President Donald Trump. The 45th president of the United States pleading not guilty to felony charges that he illegally plotted to stay in power after the 2020 election. Tim Blotz joining us from our live center tonight. And so, Tim, all of this playing out away from cameras inside a federal courthouse. And that's the case with all federal proceedings. But the glare of public attention is just all over this case. Now, the former president arrived in D.C. aboard his jet branded with his own name. His motorcade was escorted then to the D.C. federal courthouse. The irony is here is that the Barrett Preddy courthouse is just two blocks away from where Trump's followers stormed the U.S. Capitol in an attempt to disrupt the certification of the 2020 elections. Once inside, Trump surrendered to marshals on the federal charges that he conspired to overturn the election. Waiting for him in that courtroom, Jack Smith. The special counsel who brought the four criminal counts against him. The indictment lays out how Trump and six co conspirators repeatedly lied about the results of the election he lost and pressured the vice president, Mike Pence, and state election officials to help him stay in power. The president pleaded not guilty before a U.S. magistrate judge this afternoon. That judge ordered him not to communicate with any of the potential witnesses in this case. Before long, Trump was back to the airport where he told reporters that this is a very sad day for America. When you look at what's happening, this is a persecution of a political opponent. This was never supposed to happen in America. This is the persecution of the person that's leading by very, very substantial numbers in the Republican primary and leading Biden by a lot. So if you can't beat him, you persecute him or you prosecute him. We can't let this happen in America. Thank you very much. Now, the former president did not take any questions. His next hearing comes up pretty quickly. In fact, on August 28th, where it's expected that the federal judge assigned to this case will set a trial date. Randy? All right, Tim, thank you. The search.